go to Southeast Asia. See how long, how well Muslims get along with their neighbor. Obama was just there, I think, uh, two weeks ago, crying about some poor Muslim children that he wants to bring into the country from Burma. Now, why are the evil Buddhists kicking the Muslims out of their country? Well, because there was a war going on, a civil war. They didn't want to lose their whole country. So they said, enough is enough. We're not dealing with this anymore. But old Obama was there. He's bringing them in now. Bringing them into the land of the free and the home of the brave, where they'll get along just fine with all you Christians and Jews, as they have for, well, I, actually, they don't. They don't. But they will here, though, because it's, uh, it's not who we are. We're different. It's not who we are. That's what the media comes. It's not who we are. We're better than that. We're better than that. We're better than that. It's not who we are. It's better than we're better than that. It's not who we are. 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 Young married couple, newlywed couple, newlywed couple, workplace violence, Christmas party, holiday party, workplace violence. Not who we are. Not who we are. Where is the head of the Department of Homeland Security? The people are <laughs> the stockholders of the company called America saying, "Where is this jerk?" He failed us again. Where is Jerky Johnson? Where is Jerky Johnson, the head of the DHS today? Anyone know where Jerky Johnson is? He failed us again. No, no problem, though. He's bringing in Syrians. He's busy signing them up, bringing them in, new army coming in. He's in charge of bringing them in, not kicking them out. You hear this? Did you ever see anything like this, that the head of the Department of Homeland Security would be tasked with flooding America with military-aged males from a war-torn Muslim country instead of making sure that we don't have another attack here? Can you imagine such an upside, topsy-turvy world? Now I just got a, f a report. Obama is planning on dumping Syrian refugees in Redlands, home of the terrorists, right in San Bernardino, and the people don't even want them. Could you believe this? Syrian African refugees are being dumped into Redlands by Barack and St. Obama. It's incredible. Nobody can believe this, bringing them right into this area. More of them. San Bernardino plan for refugees. The area around San Bernardino, California, is the site of intense debates about Muslim immigration in the immediate days before Wednesday night's horrific mass shooting. Police searched a home in Redlands, 15 minutes away from where the shooting occurred, as part of its investigation into the suspects. So far, the name Saeed Freak has been given as a suspect in the case. The U.S. State Department recently chose Redlands as the proposed site of a Syrian refugee settlement due to its already active Middle Eastern immigrant community. Now hold on to your chairs, all you good Catholics. Are you ready? I want you to get your uh, crucifix, and I want you to hold it in your right hand. Catholic Charities was identified as a broker for the federal government program. Catholic Charities was identified as a broker for the federal government program. Catholic Charities was identified as a broker for the government program of bringing in Muslims. Citizens in Redlands, California, took action in response to the area's Muslim immigration threat, appearing before the town's mayor in a public forum in October to say no, no, no. Catholic Charities was identified as a broker for the federal government program. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. That really is painful. 855-407-282. We welcome new callers. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-2640. What can make a difference, and clearly the evidence of mass shootings, in fact there is a mass shooting every day in this country, can be prevented by background checks, extending those background checks to the unlicensed sales, Senator from and also closing the loop. Blumenthal, Blumenthal with the weird voice. I think we need a background check on Blumenthal to see if he's sane. I would like a background check on Obama. Why didn't they do a background check on Obama before they elected him president? He wouldn't have passed. He couldn't have become his own Secret Service agent because of his known associations with known terrorists like uh, Bill Ayers. If we had done a proper background check on Barack Obama before he became president, 
we might have had a sane nation, and most of these terrorist events wouldn't have occurred in this country. All we needed was a sane background check. And while you're at your background checks, why don't you do some background checks on the business dealings of major senators in the United States of America and their husbands and wives? Do some background checks on the senators who've been, who's, let's say, they were worth three million when they became a senator. Now they're worth three hundred million. Do a background check on their husband. Do a background check on the husbands and wives and their, their net worth before they became politicians and after. Do a background check on CAIR. Did you know that Muzamil H. Siddiqui, a care spokesman who you have been seen speaking over the last 24 hours, wants to implement Sharia law here in America? Do a background check on care press conference speaker Muzamil Siddiqui. Do a background check, a proper one, Senator Blumenthal. Listen to clip number two. Do a we background check on him. Go ahead. Is it work, rage-related? Is it mental illness? Is it extreme ideology? At this point, it's really unknown to us, and it's uh, too soon for us to speculate. Yeah, right, all right. You, you got away with this for years now. Too soon to speculate. That's the spin that you learn from your friends at Harvard. Too soon to speculate. We're not speculating. We know the facts. We're not speculating. We're not speculating. We know the facts. It's not too soon to do anything. Because if you ever saw what this spokesman for CARE said back in the day when he hosted the Blind Sheik's talk on Jihad way back in the day, your hair would stand up to believe that no background check was done on CARE. Your hair would stand up. How is Obama not held accountable for all the shootings uh, on his watch? Another mass shooting? Yeah, it happened again. But isn't it interesting how many of them happened since he's become president? Another mass shooting during Obama's reign. Why haven't we done a proper background check on Barack Obama? We still haven't seen his college records. Have you seen his college records speaking of his background? You want to start in with a background check? Start with the politicians who are apologists for radical Islam. Start with a background check of everyone running the intelligence agencies. Start with your proper background checks. I'm for background checks. Do a background check on the news media. Do a background check on everyone in the news media, see where they came from and why they talk the way they do, why they cover for radical Islam, why they attack America, why they hate Christians and Christianity. Do a proper background check because it's your life that's at stake. I'm for background checks, believe me. I am really for background checks. They're long overdue. We need proper background checks for Senator Blumenthal. We need so proper background checks for Senator Feinstein. We need a proper background check for Jake Tapper. We need background checks to see why they're apologists for another mass shooting by Muslims and why they continue to put out the big lie that they don't know, there's no information, it's too soon to tell, it could be workplace violence. Yeah, we need background checks for sure, but you know they're not going to happen. I was the only one in the media to say the name. Six hours before anyone else yesterday. And I gambled. I said to Jim when he found it off the Twitter feed, I said, Jim, is this confirmed to be from Twitter? Because if I read this name out loud of Sadiq, Farouk, Farik, whatever his name was, I said, you realize this could be very, very, uh, very dangerous to do. But I said, the people want to know his name. Remember the show yesterday? All you wanted to know was who the shooters were. They knew who it was. They knew his name was Freak, whatever, Saeed Freak. They wouldn't put it out there, though, because they didn't want you to put two and two together. They Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. There are measures that can be taken that will make these mass shootings less likely. Background checks, better enforcement, as is apparent in California, of laws that exist right now, providing the resources that are needed to make assault weapons. Do you believe this really man is a U.S. Senator, Blumenthal, this lunatic? Instead of saying we need to crack down on Muslim immigration, we need to stop the flow of Syrians, 
We need to make sure that those here are not going to go off like a, a, a skyrocket. He's attacking the Second Amendment. How do you people in Connecticut reelect an idiot like him? Now, this just came out <clears throat> from the Washington Times. It's linked up on the Drudge Report. This shows you it was definitely workplace violence and that it was the holiday party that set them off. San Bernardino killers erased digital presence day before the attacks. See, even though someone may have insulted him at the holiday party, said something offensive to a Muslim or to a Middle Easterner, uh, they had rented a black SUV, they had made pipe bombs for weeks with other Muslim men in their garage, they bought a, uh, AR-15s out of state, someone bought it for them, you know, made pipe bombs, and it was all because of the offensive party, obviously. But uh, apparently this innocent newlywed couple began erasing their digital footprint a day in advance of the attack. This innocent newlywed Muslim couple deleted email accounts. This innocent Muslim newlywed couple disposed of hard drives. This innocent newlywed Muslim couple smashed their cell phones, according to law enforcement sources involved in the investigation. Officials are still working to determine what motivated Saeed Rizwan Freak and his wife, Tashin Malik, to storm a conference room inside the disability center during a holiday party and spray the room with bullets. It couldn't be their holy book. It couldn't be that at all, because that's never happened before on Earth. It didn't happen in Paris. It didn't happen in uh, Mumbai. It never happened before. They killed 14. They injured 21, many of whom will die. And uh, then, of course, there was the over excessive force by the police that mortally wounded the uh, innocent, uh, newly wedded Muslim couple. And I think there should be a thorough investigation by Ayatollah Sharpton, because after all, Muslim lives matter. And we don't even know if their hands were up. I mean, did the police kill two Muslims in cold blood? And I want I want a thorough investigation. Because although the couple went to great lengths to conceal their plans... A cell phone recovered from Ms. Malik's body was only newly purchased and had only been used that day. Two other cell phones that were recovered had been smashed with a hammer and were expected to be sent to the Federal Bureau of Islam's forensic lab in Washington for examination. But they'll have to go through care first. I would think that the FBI's forensic lab first needs to get a mullah from care to tell them if they can uh, do it properly. Well, authorities also noted that a hard drive and motherboard are missing from a computer found at the Redlands, California home that the newlywed Muslim couple rented. Now, on Thursday, that's today, investigators revealed that 12 pipe bombs and more than 4,500 rounds of ammo were recovered from the home. Now, that's in addition to the more than 1,500 rounds of ammo found in the SUV that the innocent newlywed Muslim couple used as they tried to evade police. It could be they were evading the police out of fear, out of racism. Someone could have triggered them. It's true they smashed their hard drive, bought body armor, made pipe bombs with fellow Muslims. But it could be they were triggered at the holiday party by some reference to Jesus, for example. Maybe somebody wore a cross and sent him off. Maybe somebody made a derogatory remark or looked at them the wrong way. And the police certainly overreacted, as you well know. I'm sure that Blumenthal or Diane Feinstein would have done it more peacefully. They could have taken them in peacefully. Why couldn't they shoot them in the legs, for example, liberals would ask. Why didn't they taser them? Um, let's see. There are other methods, non-lethal methods to bring in crazed people like this. Taser, shooting them in the legs. Let's see. What else would a liberal come up with? Robert, can you think of anything else? Maybe Doctors Without Borders should have been called to uh, have negotiated with them as the car sat. Why did they have to riddle the car with bullets like that? Why did they do that? I mean, the officers began a pursuit, and it's true that Malik began firing at them from the back seat of the rented SUV as Freak drove to evade them. But they could have just been running away out of fear, because this is not done in Saudi Arabia or Pakistan, where she's from. In all, the Muslim attackers fired 76 rounds at the police, while law enforcement officers unleashed 380 rounds. That's a lawsuit right there. I'm sorry. 380 to 76? Isn't that unfair? I mean, they were outgunned. What kind of country is this that cops have better weapons than, than, than the jihadis? And what about those armored vehicles that uh, Obama tried to take away from local police? The Libs said, oh, there's too many armored cars. We don't need a militarization of local police. They don't need to have military-grade vehicles. 
They should have gone after them on foot with a whistle 